Hi, I'm Abdullah, and I specialize in digital advertising via paid and organic marketing softwares as a service. I currently work as a digital advertising account manager at Strong Coffee Marketing, and in the past I have worked with companies such as Digital Main Street, Google, and Canadian Tire. Today, I'll be discussing your online footprint, why it matters, and how trends can benefit your brand. Well, anyone can have an online footprint just by uploading an image to Instagram, or even tweeting about their favorite pizza place. Let's shift the discussion to the impact an online footprint can have when one follows follows or creates trends on social media platforms. Especially in the realm of business, you need to understand how social media platforms work and use organic marketing to humanize your business by having a conversation with your audience instead of talking down to them. Save the corporate approach and budget to promote your products on advertising services such as Google Ads, Stack Adapt, etc. Basically, if you know the platform that you're on and how to navigate it, your online footprint can flourish. Now, with a visual aid, I want to bring your attention to the power and importance of organic marketing done the right way. And the example that we are going to be using is Duolingo's TikTok account. Duolingo is an app that helps its users learn more than 40 different languages should they choose. It offers speaking exercises, reminders, language certifications, and more to keep its users engaged. After their organic marketing efforts on TikTok, it had 1 million followers by November 2021 and reported a 61% increase in revenue in quarter 4 of 2021. With following quarters, they continued to show consistent growth at an average of 9% per quarter. That's incredible! Concurrently, their TikTok followers continued to grow as well and went from 50,000 in October of 2021 to a whopping 6.3 million followers by March 2023. So literally right now you could check Duolingo's TikTok account and they're at that level. All this was done by our organic marketing using the vision of their global social media manager, Zadia Pervez, who wanted to see where Duolingo fit in TikTok's incredible landscape. It definitely paid off in the long run considering that they were struggling with paid advertising when they had a marketing agency attached initially to the Duolingo account, but later realized that they could use their budget for other advertising services and make use of the freeness of social media platforms. Now, what are some key items that we can take away from this that we can apply to our own businesses? Number one, engage with your customer base on a personal level when on social media. If there's anything we've learned from the Duolingo lingo tiktok account is that you need to become a part of the conversation that's happening on social media not disrupt it by making a sales pitch. The reason Duolingo is relatable to audiences is because the account will jokingly point out flaws in Google Translate, one of their competitors, show a romantic pursuit of Dua Lipa because their names sound similar to followers of both accounts, and use trending tiktok songs when they're popular, i.e. Taylor Swift's Enchanted, Megan Trainor's No, and a bunch of other songs and effects that are always in play in the TikTok universe. Number two, one definitely needs to be casual and have a sense of humor. You need to take the time to understand the vernacular and social interests of internet users of this generation since they're the ones that you're going to be targeting to be lifelong customers. Duolingo does this by hopping on popular trends, creating memes, and turning its mascot duo into the protagonist of a digital sitcom with ongoing storylines and an evolving personality to match. Third and final point, understand how your business fits into the world of social media. Duolingo takes a meta approach to marketing as an app that offers more than 40 different languages by putting learning the language of its audience at the forefront. What you need to be asking yourself is, how does my product resonate with the audiences of any given free social media platform and what do I need to do to make them care about it like I do? It's all about relatability and a lot less about paid promotions. So the next time there's room to hop on a trend and give your brand some exposure, test it out. Who knows, you might be the next Duolingo and at the very least, it'll do wonders for your online footprint. That's all for me, over and out.